This is the plaintiff, Robert Aguilar. He says the defendant hired his company to power wash and stain her deck. He did the work and the woman stiffing him big time. He runs a very honest company. He's been in business for 18 years and doesn't understand why some people just don't pay their bills. He's suing for $1,749, the amount he's owed for his services. This is the defendant, Carol Lloyd. She says she just turned 60 and decided to buy herself a hot tub as a present to herself. She hired the plaintiff to make sure her deck could support the weight, and he lied to her, didn't finish the deck, and his employee gave her dangerous advice. Owe him even more money than she's already paid? Ha! She's accused of decking a guy. All parties, please raise your right hand. Welcome back to The People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant stiffed him after he stained and power washed her deck. But the defendant says the plaintiff didn't do the job and created a danger. It's the case of what a deck. Okay, Robert Aguilar. And, oh, you've asked us not to mention your company name. Oh, pity, it's such a cute name. All right. And uh, your company, you own a, what kind of company? It's a restoration, deck restoration company. Okay, you are suing Carol Lloyd, a former client who, according to you, refuses to pay a remaining balance of $1,749. Um, according to you, you've paid them more than enough for what they've done so far. Okay, let's start with you, Mr. Aguilar. Tell me what happened. We, uh, <clears throat> I got a call from Mrs. Lloyd uh, back on April 3rd to have an estimate done. At that time, the estimate called for basically doing some work on her deck, cleaning her deck and applying a stain, or ref refinishing the deck. Uh, through the process, I gave her the estimate. Here's a copy of it. Okay. And that estimate was for $785. That okay. is correct. And that included only washing, prepping, and staining the deck. That is correct. All right, and checking the supports for hot tub to go on. All right, right. because you wanted to have a hot tub, okay? Yes. And um, how long had you been looking into having a hot tub? Well, I tur was turning 60, so I said to myself, this is gonna be a good 60th uh, birthday <laughs> gift. Uh, so I started to go around, but then they were having the, uh, the uh, Home Expo show uh, with the vendors at Nassau Coliseum, and I said, that's a good place to go. And that's where I first met Mr. Aguilera. Oh, so you were actually looking for a hot tub when you met him? Yes. Okay. All right. And you my, wanted to have your deck all spruced up first. Well, I wanted you to the make sure. And make sure it could support it. Correct. Okay. So you give her the estimate for $785, and what happens? Uh, she said she wanted to go ahead with the work. I received the contract back, agreeing to the terms and conditions back okay. on April 12th. Now, the this 12th. contract, which is the one you ultimately sign, is for $1,564, right? Right. Let if me I, see the copy of the, yeah. the original of the contract. She had added additional work to the contract. And the additional work that she added was to wash the PVC fence for $120, to wash the house for $385, and to put support beams for the hot tub uh, to the tune of $150, correct? Yes. When Mr. Aguilera came out the first time, he said, I have to inspect before I write up a proposal. Right. So he went down on his hands and knees. He was able to look under to right. say to me, this support will hold it. This support will be fine for okay. the hot tub. All right. Well, let, let's put that to a side, like whose fault it is that there ends up becoming a problem and you can't put, just put the support. In, a, in, a, um, in the end, what happens is that when you send an employee out there to do that part of the work, what does the employee, actually, let's go to you first because you hear it first. What does the employee say to you? Uh, he had taken off the boards. I was in the house and uh, my old boards because we were fixing some new boards. And he calls me outside. He goes, look, you cannot put a hot tub on this, even with new boards on here. He goes, it's dangerous. I won't do it. So I said, no, no, safety, you know, of course, hold up. And um, he told me he spoke to Bob about this. It was held up. So he tells you what she says, right? Correct. Once he took off the boards, he noticed that for code, you're supposed to bolt them into the house. They weren't bolted. They were just nailed into the house. Okay. So but now, was this deck illegally built? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. I had, um, do you know who it was built by or that was before you? No, no. That was after me. Had extension put done. There was a deck out there. He worked off 
the underneath old deck and just put a new wood on everything yeah. on. What are you doing now? Are you Did you get the hot tub? No. You gonna no. get the hot tub? Yes, I had to do it. What happened was I had to get a survey done so that the engineer can go to the town we filed and get for it permits. Done right. Yep, get everything and get done a permit right for the work that you did in an unpermitted fashion that well, turned out to the, not the, be worth the money. Right? Lo barato sale caro. The cheap comes out expensive, honey. Uh, you got that. Right now, right. you got to pay for it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Add that to the little price of doing it right the right. first time. Now, apparently, according to you, you have this contract, which is fifteen sixty four, and then there she adds additional work. What is the additional work? The additional work was she wanted some boards to be replaced on the top of the deck, having nothing to do with support beams. So having nothing to support. In fact, uh, I have a detailed breakdown of the work that was done and what was not done. And in the letter, said, let me tell you what I want: a detailed contract of the new work that she ordered, agreeing to the price that you are suing for. No, as far as that, within the contract, it states: if you read, it says any additional work not mentioned within this work, uh, this contract, will be at an additional cost. Well, that doesn't need saying, of course. So, so now, what I'm asking you no, is: there was a, a show me the change order. Right, there was no change order at Why that not? time, because. Uh, my men did not have a change order at that time. They called. Okay, seriously? They That's need to have shoelaces and they need to have a change order inside the truck. Okay? Agreed. And if they don't, they need to have a crayon and a roll of toilet paper. And if you're the boss, you drive over to where someone's run out of change orders and you get a legal pad and a pen and, or, you know I mean, you figure it out. So what's the real answer for why you didn't get a contract? You goofed. And or your people goofed. <laughs> Plaintiff was hired to power wash and stain her deck and didn't get paid. The problem, he didn't get a complete contract. Let's listen. All right, how much extra work? What is the extra work that he's talking about? The additional boards that were uh, really weathered or beat up, if you will. So he put down another additional eight boards. Eight boards, okay. And was there a price agreed upon for the eight boards? I, as I remember it on the phone, it was like $35 for a board, one board. $35 for the actual board and what yeah. for the labor? Well, no, 25 for the board or 15 for the labor. I agreed to it, whatever, you know. Well, what was it? Was it 685 like he says? Because I, I don't think, think that so. math is going to work out to 685 That would work out to 208 All right, right. So what was it? We see, this is why, this is why <laughs> we have to have contracts in the truck. But we've had, uh, Miss Lloyd and us have had a, Great relationship. Except for you deny it's 685 or you don't Shh. deny? Uh, Are you sure you're not sure? No, no. I Would I deny the 685 or the 235, whatever it is, the additional boards? Now, do you know what the additional boards were going to cost you? No. How could you just say, go ahead and do a job without knowing what it's going to cost you? Well, to be honest with you, he did say it over the phone. I don't know if it was 35 or How 40. much was his board? Is there a... We charge $6 per foot for the repairs. Now, before they left, she knew the price. And all along this time, I was never contacted disputing price, disputing our work, disputing anything from Miss Lloyd. Did you get any correspondence from her at all talking about, I'm just having money problems, give me some time, anything like that? No, what I did is I went personally to her home to want to deliver the stain. And second, I wanted to see what was going on with the deck. Want to deliver the stain? I thought you guys finished the stain, no? No, no. no. Uh, the stain, right. the refinishing so tell, was not done. Here's what happens, okay? Your, your guy tells you we can't do the reinforcing part, which is really what she definitely wanted for the hot tub. So what work of the original contract did you guys complete? The uh, house wash was completed. Is that accurate? Correct. Okay, go on. The PVC fencing was done. Is that accurate? Correct. Okay, go on. The washing of the deck was done. Is that accurate? Accurate. But washing, Okay. Go ahead. The, the repairs of, of the boards were done. Okay, so the thing were just- Not accurate. Not, the repair of the boards were done. Okay, you say they were done, and she says not accurate, and not the accurate. truth, as it is a lot of times, is somewhere in between, which is that your guys bought it, but they didn't install it, because no. she asked them not to install it, right? They, they did install it. She did not want it nailed down because she wanted an inspector to be able to look under the deck. So what does install it mean? Install is we laid the boards down on the deck. They put them down there? 
Put them on the Put them down, but you can pick them up? Yes, okay. we wanted to nail them down. But she didn't want you to. She did not want. Is uh, that true? No, it's not true. Either. Well, then why, why wouldn't you just nail them down? Because, uh, and the letter from, the email from his um, worker who told me, who stopped the job, he said, we can't nail these down because you're only going to have to lift them up again. He said, I can't leave you like this because you're all, you know, open. He says, so I'll cut the boards, but we cannot nail them. He says, we cannot paint. We can't, we have well, to stop the But you agreed to that, though. He could nail them down, and then he you would have nail, to lift he, them up. He but he's trying to help you because you're saying, I'm going to want an inspector here. I'm going to want to put it to code. I'm going to want to get an engineer here. So he but tells he you it's sort of silly to nail them down, and you agree. Yeah. I mean, that's what, you know, because it is silly to nail them down if, you're gonna, if you need somebody to look at them. But I'm not going to make... You not get paid for boards that she elected at that point. Yeah, I agree with you, responsible worker who's saving me from a horrible accident um, and a wheelchair. You know, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. You're right. Let's not do it. That was the plan. That sometimes happens when you're in construction. You make a plan. And that was your plan that you picked and approved. And no, I'm not going to um, reimburse anything for not nailing that down. That was a choice you made. So what we have left to deduct from this uh, remaining amount is the amount of the stain. What part of the 785 do you believe the staining should represent? The stain itself? No, the stain or, itself is $160 no. in material. Well, the actual labor. Oh, the, the labor in that, we would subtract the cost of the stain, which is... Uh, I no, believe, I am subtracting okay. the labor you didn't have to put in also okay. because the stain didn't happen. Right. Okay, so you know All where right. I'm going. So they didn't really have an official contract, but he did some of the work at least. Does he get paid? Absolutely. I think that hard work deserves a payoff. But he was stupid not to have a contract. Well, most adults would put together a contract, but that's clearly not the case. Does so. he get paid? I think he should, but it's it's a lesson for him to learn if he doesn't. But you teach him the lesson by not paying him. I don't think so, because I mean, as long as the work was done correctly and uh, to the person's satisfaction, they should be paid for the work they did. Fair enough, going inside the courtroom. It sounds to me like that's a very labor intensive it part, because you're doing it by hand. So we, what part of the 785 do you, wait, is, this, is that fair? Yeah, what part of the 785 for washing and staining do you believe staining represents? Uh, 500. Yeah, I think that's probably right. And if I just may add, yep. <laughs> uh, when she said that I had gotten on my hands and knees to check underneath the deck, that's impossible because I have a, a leg that doesn't bend. Oh my goodness. Brace. So okay. that's incorrect. And then, you know. <laughs> All right, gotcha. All right. Now let's, so, um, Your Honor. Don't take your pants off. May I say, <laughs> I will. I will. <laughs> I promise. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Um, I just want to clarify for the courts. He delivered three cans of Cabot, not four. Oh, you got the paint? Yeah, he dropped no. it off that day when okay. he came no. unannounced. Right. So I, here's, okay, we're going to stop. I'm going I'm to yeah. tell you how this is going to shake out here. Okay, this is not an exact science. Good. This is an art, what I do. Um, and it's sort of not that hard to do the math. You know, we have an original contract for 1564. Then we have an additional contract for additional work, which I am, I am going to assess at the 685. From that, we take away $500 that you've already paid. From that, we also take away $150, which is what you were paying according to the contract you signed for the reinforcements, because that never happened. And from that, I am also going to take away $500 for the staining that ended up not happening, because that's a big chunk of, of the stuff too. So that still means that you owe some money for the work that was done. And what I find that you owe is $1,099. Uh, for the work that was done. I find in favor of the plaintiff in that amount, and I wish you good luck, and I hope you get your hot tub. <laughs> the plaintiff has won this case, not for everything he sued for, but quite a bit here. Step on in, right next to me, come on in. Tell me what's your reaction to the outcome here in this case. Uh, you know, I don't quite agree with the, the judge ruling, but at the same time, um, I think it's a, a lesson that people have to realize, get everything in writing, and don't let uh, certain home contractors mislead you. Did he get on his hands and knees and look under? The guy he did. He can't even bend yeah. his yeah, leg. Yeah, yeah. No, really? he did. All right. The hot tub. You still want the hot Absolutely. tub? Absolutely. What are the plans for the hot tub? The hot tub will be, uh, what are the plans? once the engineering is done, then the hot tub goes in. Maybe. Big party? Hot tub party? Yep. You got it. <laughs> okay, right, right down there. <laughs> I wasn't asking to be invited, but uh, let's step on up here. What's your feeling on the outcome of this case? I think it was you very okay? fair. Mm -hmm. Very fair. Um, you know, I think, you know, you can't do today's business with yesterday's methods and be in business tomorrow. So I thought I had all my ducks in a row. 
change order. So from here on in, I would make Good. sure the change orders are in. All right. Maybe we'll get that second date with the judge then. Who knows? Well, she's married. She I'm knows. married. All right. Harvey. Okay, Kurt, this is called, uh, I'll give you a little legal Latin term here. It's called quantum merit, which means the reasonable value of the services rendered. If you don't have a hard contract that's enforceable, but there's this kind of loosey-goosey agreement, you can still get money for what you actually did to the extent it benefits the other person. And that will do it for this case. How about that? I remember that from law school. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.